sometimes we don't celebrate the quotidian, right? We don't celebrate what it, what it takes to just survive. Tell me who I love you. Tell me who I love you. Hi, I'm Taylor Lee Lamb. I'm playing Megan on Black Enough, and I'm also one of the digital media strategists. And my name is Bernika LaShawn Scott, and I'll be playing Vaughn. I don't know. I figured we'd never see him after we graduated. I keep trying to tell you, he's textbook. Don't do it. Jack and Jill, nigga. Noun. <laughs> A pseudo chameleon who's always trying to climb. The kind of boy whose parents force you to go to Cotillion with him. Quit it, it's not like and that. And you're mad. <gasps> because you don't want to go to Cotillion. But at the same time, you're not mad. Cause he's fine, and you know he's gonna inherit his daddy's fortune 500. I'm not thinking about me. Honestly, I think that was one of the funner scenes to film because like one, the night before, we rehearsed that scene a lot and we, we were up pretty late rehearsing that scene to get it right. Um, but in that rehearsal process, like it was kind of also a bonding process for all of us. Like we were playing games, we were actually playing spades, playing other games, just really having a good time and then like rehearsing in the middle of that. Um, it, was, it was a really fun scene. We can't just send anybody up to the White House. Okay, but Cory Booker, Kamala Harris, Maxine Waters. Wait, Auntie Maxine? I don't know about all that. Please don't help. It was so much fun. So Micah had us essentially just improv into it and then start our lines. Yeah. Um, so just like improv as our characters and that was so much fun. Um, we, she said that she couldn't even tell when we started our lines because we were just having so much fun building the character and just like, you know, talking to each other, playing spades. It was real casual. Um, and this was also one of the earlier scenes. It wasn't, like we've already been here for a couple days, but this was earlier in the process. And it was one of the bigger scenes. I think it's one of the only scenes where there's so many people that everyone actually talks. So we have like, we have big scenes you're gonna see later um, that have like lots of groups in them. And then you saw the BSU meeting, that was a lot of us. But it was only like one or two people talking, but this time like we all have lines and we're all communicating with each other. So we were kind of, I know Micah was a little worried about it just because it was early and stuff, but we, um, it was a, so much fun and just a lot like real cool, real casual. Yeah, real, real casual. How many y'all got? Um, like three. Two. So let's say five. Mm -hmm. I've got three. <laughs> all 13. What? What? Oh. No, like. <laughs> right, yeah, five. Damn. Let's just, uh, let's just say seven. So, although we play spades in the scene, we actually didn't know how to play spades. Um, there are people on the Black Enough casting crew that play spades. We just, they just weren't cast in these specific roles. So, we had to get some tutorials. Yeah, we, uh, I guess like a couple of nights before. We had a um, Black Enough game night, um, and yeah, they taught us how to play, and we played a couple of rounds. And low-key, I didn't realize how easy the game was, but also, it's still not easy, because... It's about strategy. Yeah. The last time they wanted to, I just wanted to know if you're winning. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like this time is... I'm still winning, so... There he is. You know what? This is why we're not playing against you again. So. You know, people always say black people don't ever want to teach you how to play spades. They're just like, wow, you don't know how to play spades and don't teach you. Um, so because of that, I always thought teaching, like the actual learning process would be so hard, but it really wasn't. Um, but I love it. I love it so much. After we did it, I wanted to play. I think I was, so we were actually playing a real game of spades when we, like it wasn't like we were just putting cards down, we were actually playing spades. Um, and I think I was one of the only people that I was really playing to win. And I did, like I was like, I had like every book because people were like, they were playing the game properly, but they weren't thinking, but I was like, okay, I'm trying to win this. And I did. She did. <laughs> I will say I won the very first round, but after that, no. It was no, she had it. The Weston Crown Scholars are having a game night. In is a Weston Crown Scholar. And you're not. You <gasps> said I should meet people. These are people, black people. I'm black. You don't want to play a game with me? It'll be fine. 
the politicians that we are encountering now. We talk about their policies and who do we think is the best candidate and what we would like to see as far as just a better overall America, but not only just for America, but also more specifically for us as black people, who is going to finally be the leader that we need in our communities and we need across the board to help us elevate. <laughs> yeah, I feel like my friend group does, like, well, I have multiple friend groups and like my, my main one, we don't do that that much. I'm kind of like, my politics are like, further left than a lot of my friends, which is kind of similar to Megan in the scene, although we don't, I don't agree with everything she says, her, like, that is kind of a more radical position than the rest of them. Um, and I think, but I think, like, fundamentally, we believe all the same things for the most part. Um, I think sometimes I have, like, one-on-one -on -one conversations, like me and my line sister, Zakia, we talk about things like that um, sometimes, but usually, like, I when like, if I'm all hanging out with my friends, we might talk, like, we might get into debates more about, like, personal relationships than we do about politics because for the most part I'd say we're on the same page. If you feel depressed and all alone, I like it. For a soul. I'll make you a playlist. Because you, let me remind you, you are the pieces of the puzzle that just speaks. You are the ruler of this world. Hey. Baby girl, you're good. You're good. That's just it. You're good. We weren't that mean to that little girl. <laughs> Just so y'all I mean, you know. We could have said worse to make her cry. I, like, <laughs> I did ask if she knew how to play spades. Like, I was, I was willing to teach her. Listen, I didn't know how to, like, we all have to learn. Clearly, we didn't know. We all have to learn once. I just feel like if you're ever in that situation and someone asks for a tutorial, if you need a tutorial, just say yes. Yeah, because be like, you save know. yourself a lot of heartache. Period. And don't renege. Don't renege. Don't yes. Do it. Oh my god, that's actually really funny though because I didn't know. I've always heard about reneging and didn't know was. And then my line is the one that's like, we reneged. And that. so I read that before we got here. So, and I just didn't really understand. Like, I didn't know what that meant. But then we, I learned how to play space and I was like, oh, she reneged. Like, I got it. Ooh. So that was cool.